Hello chess fans, fans of the beautiful game. This is, this is chess to impress with another impressive position from the history of the game. This is a classic. This is one you really must see. This is Anatoly Karpov, the 12th world champion. Although when he played this game he was not the 12th world champion yet. It's 1974 and he in that year he qualified to play world champion Bobby Fischer, but that match never took place. But that's another story. This is the story of the Olympiad in Nice, in the south of France, in Europe. And the Soviet Union was playing Germany. And Karpov is white against Wolfgang Unziker, a German grandmaster, who Karpov called him the strongest amateur in the world. I'm not sure if, if Unziker should take that as a compliment or not, but Unziker was a very strong chess player, was a grandmaster, but decided that a career in law would be better for him than a career as a chess professional. Karpov is white, Unziker is black, and it's the 17th of June 1974. This is one of the most famous positions from Karpov's career. Because here, well, let's look at the position first. It's a board full of pieces. Only one pair of pawns has been swapped. It was a Rui Lopez opening. And what strikes is that white has more space for his pieces. Because there are so many pieces on the board, you need space for your pieces. And in this case, white has more space to maneuver his pieces. And that's, that is something that was very dangerous uh, in Karpov's games if he had a position like this with, a with fixed pawn structures and more space for his pieces than he was a real virtuoso. Of course he could play any type of position being uh, the, world ch uh, the future world champion. But this was really what he liked. He played the one of the most iconic moves of his career here. Here he played the bishop from e3 to a7. What move is that? Well, it's in line with a strategy of having more space. What he wants to do, he wants to double his rooks on the A file without giving black the chance to swap one or two pairs of rooks. Because swapping pieces, of course, is in black's favor. If you don't have much space, then it helps if you can swap some pieces, because then you have less pieces to find space for. With bishop A7, Karpov prepares doubling his rooks on the A-file and continue his boa constrictor work. I won't show you the rest of the game, that's not the purpose of this channel. What I will show you is the final position because things went as expected. This is the position 20 moves later after the Karpov's 44th move knight g3 to h5 and here Unziker resigned. It's still a board full of pieces, only uh, the light squared bishops have been swapped. Apart from that everything is still on the board and you can see it's striking. You don't know, need to know a lot about chess to see that white is much better here. All his pieces, most of his pieces, have active positions while well, really none of Black's pieces have active positions. And Unziger couldn't look at this for any longer and resigned. Why did he resign? Let's look at it concretely. Well, of course there's a mate threat on g7. So that is something concrete that Black has to do something against. What makes sense is to swap the queens. At least it takes the mate out of the equation, but after white takes back, the situation is still horrible for black. For example, knight b7 to put this horrible knight in on another square. Then white activates his last piece that was not very active, knight f5. g7 is now hanging and you cannot really play the bishop away because then white plays g7 and wins a piece. And if you protect the bishop, then the strongest move will be bishop b6. And I'm just showing you one of the variations. If the rooks are swapped on a3, 
then and then black plays rook b8 to protect the knight rook a7 attacking that knight so the rook now has to stay on b8 to protect it and black can hardly move a piece the only piece that can move is the king so let's say king g8 well then there's many ways to win but let me show you one of them the best the easiest one is knight e7 check king f8 knight c6 and now the rook is hanging and if the rook moves the knight will fall and white wins material and wins the game if black does not swap the queens then he has similar problems for example he plays queen e7 to cover against a checkmate on g7 then bishop b6 is the strongest move and again let me show you a variation for example knight e8 then rook a7 comes in knight b7 to cover the the attack on the queen but then there's many ways to win and the easiest one is knight g7 knight g7 and knight g4 and as they say everything is hanging pawn on f6 is hanging pawn on h6 is hanging and again white species are so much more active than blacks and this is a an easy win for white so one of Anatoly Karpov's most famous games and I definitely wanted to share this with you. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so you will be notified when I post my next video. This is Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.